Welcome back to Automotive Territory. What do you think is the best way to upgrade an already great car? Add spoilers and lower the suspension? Maybe throw in new tech and redo the trimming? No, in our days the ultimate way to pimp a ride is to replace its engine with an electric motor. What can you get from this modification? First of all, that incredible feeling of quick acceleration from instant torque, silent cabin, low maintenance, no need for gasoline, and lastly, access to the inner cities with the restrictions for ICE cars. In this episode, we'll show you the top 10 most interesting engine swaps that reimagined already great cars and turned them into all electric marvels of modern automaking. But prior to getting started, we just wanted to remind you that subscription to our channel will bring you informative automotive content at least twice a week. Enjoy the ride! Genovation GXE when designing the Genovation, engineers were tasked to change perception of EVs by demonstrating that electric cars can not only be efficient and sustainable, but also could be very fun to drive. We cannot but agree that they have already succeeded with this task by building an electric automobile that is showing true supercar performance in terms of speed that reaches 220 miles per hour. Such velocity could be achieved by the use of GXE's unique electric powertrain, 800 horses strong, that produces 700 pound-feet of torque. In essence, this is a reworked Chevrolet C7 Corvette brand sport, so it's a rather small auto. But the designers managed to place a 60 kWh battery inside without compromising on handling and reaching nearly perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Only 75 units of Genovation GXC will be produced, and the starting price will be staggering $750,000 a piece. Chrysler Hummer Chrysler Electric is the Austrian company that specializes in e-mobility, battery technology and electric powertrains. They are most known for operating one of the industry's largest car conversion workshops that transforms autos with internal combustion engines into EVs. Among their most impressive projects is the one and only Hummer H1. This mighty beast, which in the IC version can barely cover 10 miles per gallon, has now become completely emission-free. Its powertrain consists of two electric motors one on each axle, with a combined output of 485 horses. The truck is equipped with 100 kWh battery that ensures a max range of 186 miles. Despite its substantial weight of over 7,000 pounds, it demonstrates unexpected agility, accelerating from 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds and developing 75 miles per hour top speed. This vehicle is the only electric off-road Hummer released so far, and unfortunately, the manufacturer is not planning to start mass production of the prototype. Zelectric's Porsche 911 Targa Zelectric is a San Diego, California-based company that electrifies mid-century vintage Volkswagen and early Porsche classics for the 21st century. With all their builds, the company is trying to make as little modifications as possible, so this beautiful 1973 Porsche 911 Targa remains as vintage as they come. The battery was placed in the trunk, and it is a 54 kWh pack with Tesla modules that gets the range to 150 miles if you drive it like a Porsche, but in heavy traffic the real-life range gets close to 180 miles that is boosted by regenerative braking. The original power of this car was retained, and it is around 180 horses. Acceleration is rather moderate and not what you might have expected from an electric car, but it still remains a decent 7 seconds to 16 mph and the top speed is 150. Zombie 222 Only true electric car fans know about the small company headquartered in the proud city of Austin, Texas, where classic hot rods are transformed into electrically powered lightning rods. The name of this company is Bloodshed Motors, and the pinnacle of their mechanical genius is the Zombie 222, which is a modified 1968 Mustang Fastback. The total output that Zombie's batteries can assure is 1.2 megawatts or 1,600 horsepower. However, the engineers had to double it down to 800 horsepower for the twin DC motors to handle it. The immediate torque is 1,800 pound-feet that results in the current world's fastest 0-6 to six acceleration time for an electric car of 1.79 seconds. The 222 also destroys the quarter mile under 10 seconds and can reach the top speed of 178 miles per hour. BMW from EV West 
EV West is the US-based company that specializes in retail of electric car parts, components, conversion kits, and charging station solutions for your electric vehicle or EV conversion. For promotion purposes, they came up with their own project, remodeling the 1995 BMW M3 Coupe. The car was stripped down of everything that it won't need on the racetrack, and a few additional components were added, like bucket racing seat, a full-body roll cage, a huge rear wing fitted on the trunk, plenty of carbon fiber panels, and a new set of 17-inch lightweight wheels. As for the powertrain, the sports car is getting a tandem of net gain warp 11-inch DC motors, EVnetics Shiva 3000 amp motor controller, and 48 kilowatt hours of CALB lithium iron phosphate cells. Ditching of the standard 3.0 liter inline 6 engine resulted in some phenomenal performance. From a standstill, the setup produces 700 horsepower and 850 pound feet of torque. Volkswagen Beetle While Zelectric has a lot of cars in their lineup of electrified vehicles, their specialty is VW Beetles of 1958 through 1967 model years. With this automobile you get the best of both worlds, where iconic high style fuses with today's future forward technology to provide an exhilarating driving experience. The most recent iteration of this conversion project is a three-phase brushless 76 kW or 102 HP AC motor that delivers speeds over 100 mph with some sporty vibe due to the instant torque and increased weight of the car that makes it stick to the road. The looks of this Beetle are deceiving. Even though it is almost identical to the stock model that is half a century old, it actually has carefully concealed disc brakes, modern suspension, and all the lighting is now LED. Chrysler G-Wagon Externally, the electric G-Class from Chrysler differs only in detail, and on the inside you will be getting the same level of luxury and comfort. The only difference is that the dashboard was elegantly adapted for the electric drive. Due to the compact design of the Chrysler batteries, it was possible to install two battery packs with a total capacity of 80 kWh that ensure unmatched high range of 150 miles. This G-Class gets two electric motors with combined 483 horsepower and all-wheel drive capability for ultimate off-roading experience that can last up to 187 miles. Though somewhat irrelevant, 0-6 acceleration takes just 5.6 seconds, top speed is at 115 miles per hour, and 2.6 tons or 5,600 pounds curb weight is no complication. It is well known that Arnold Schwarzenegger is an active promoter of electric transport and clean energy. So notably, the first Chrysler G-Class was built from his personal G-Wagon as a promotion. Jaguar E-Type Zero we often hear from car fans that the golden age of automobiles has ended after the 1960s, and that since then car designers kept copying each other and lost the true spirit of automaking. It could be one of the reasons why Jaguar came up with a reminiscently designed E-Type Zero, probably attempting to hook old-timers and make them want to own an electric classic. This Jaguar is a reconfigured E-Type Series 1.5 sports roadster of the 1968 model here that got equipped with a specially engineered 300 horsepower motor to fit the space previously occupied by the engine and gearbox. The used power pack has 40 kWh capacity, good for 170 miles of range, and 0 to 60 acceleration is known to be 5.5 seconds. This technique of reconfiguring IC cars into electric will be tested with E-Type Zero, and if proven viable, will be used for other historical models from Jaguar. Chrysler EVEX 910E One of Chrysler's most valued prototypes is EVEX 910E, which is a converted 1960 Porsche 910. This electric super sports automobile is perfectly tuned for extreme performance, just like the original, and shows unprecedented results. 0 to 60 acceleration time equals to 2.5 seconds, and the maximum velocity is limited only by the 186 miles per hour mark. This Chrysler carries a 53 kWh battery pack that, if we trusted the manufacturer, ensures 215 miles of range. Plus, the car could be seamlessly integrated into your house's power grid to power electric utilities during peak hours. This electrified EVEX might just be the return of EVs to beautiful classic designs with no compromises on performance. Jeep Wrangler Electric 
even before Jeep thought about using electric powertrains in its trucks. CED4X Lab from Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology converted one of the older JK models into the first fully electric all-terrain Jeep Wrangler. The vehicle is equipped with two 80-horsepower motors delivering 210 pound-feet of torque and 67 miles per hour top speed. Draining power from Olympia Ion battery pack, it can last for 150 miles on a freeway or for 40 miles of trailing. In addition, the truck is just as successful in rock crawling and overcoming obstacles such as loose soil, barriers and muddy terrain as the regular diesel or gasoline Wrangler. For example, in 2017, the Korean team managed to tackle a Rubicon trail with it. The engine swap and modification of a car into an EV is a time-consuming and costly process, but the results are just incredible. Share with us which modification from this lineup is your favorite. We do recommend you watching episodes suggested on this screen. And if you want to support us, subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. May the torque be with you!